Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. Today we are going to detail discuss about L2 or Layer 2 switch. So this would be available in the network communication control system. So in this video we will be uh, checking out what is basically a L2 or a Layer 2 switch and what are all the industrial applications which is being used inside multiple control system so in this youtube channel learn instrumentation engineering we would be uh, detailly discussing about basics and fundamentals of industrial instrumentation and control system also we would cover latest news and global updates which is centering around instrumentation engineering okay let's get into the video so what is basically l2 switch see l2 or layer 2 switches used for network communication which would be interconnecting multiple devices to receive and send data so this is just a network communication switch for data sending and data receiving okay how does this network communication switch works basically it works on osi model that is open system interconnection model we knew that totally we have seven layers of communication layer one layer two and it goes till layer 7 in layer 1 we call it as a physical layer in communication so it uses the physical hardware communication to communicate send or receive data example we can use usb universal serial bus so how we connect laptop and mobile connection this is basically a l1 communication similarly in l2 we use data link layer how we use physical layer in l1 in l2 we use data link layer for communication so here we use a mac protocol that is media access control communication this seems to be somewhat theoretical now let's check this mac or l2 switch with a detailed uh, example we all know that there are two control buses bus 1 and bus 2 in dcs architecture in control bus 1 and 2 we connect the dcs station esd station operator station 1 operator station 2 engineering station printer prms server opc server etc let's just take this operator station 2 and dcs this is a simple architecture but in uh, physically we would be using l2 network switch and that would be interconnecting both dcs and operating station as per this example so this is basically the l2 network switch you can see we have two l2 switch one would be installed in bus one and other l2 switch would be installed in bus two and again we have different ports where one port will be connecting to dcs and second port will be connecting to operating station one operating station two and so on Similarly, in bus 2 level switch, again, we would be connecting control bus 2 uh, network switches in DCS, operator station 1, operator station 2 and so on. And you can see over here, we have around 24 number of ports in an L2 switch. And here you could see a 4 patch card. So what is basically a 4 patch card and where would be we using this? So let's see an example. Normally in a process plan, we do have an ICS rack room. In ICS rack room, we have DCS stations, ESD stations, marshalling panel as well. And this would be available, and this ICS rack room would be available inside the plant uh, zone. And again, we do have a CCR control room, central control room, where we do have all the operating station and engineering station as well. And this would be located in different part of the process plan. And to interconnect both ICS rack room and CCR, we use patch cord, a 4 patch cord. So this is a simple example. So it connects between two L2 switches. So let's get back to the media access control. So this is basically a 
port was MAC table. So we have seen that we do have 24 ports in the Elto switch. In this example, I just have taken only three ports and port one is communicating with A and that is operator station one. Port two is communicating with B and that is operator station two. Port three is communicating with C and that is engineering station. So similarly, the different ports would be communicating with different devices by using media access control. By using this uh, MAC, there would be no data collision occurs. So data will be sent and received 100% without any data loss or data collision. The main advantage of using this L2 switch is it does not require any program to be configured before installing in the control system. It is just a plug and play use. So this is the biggest advantage of L2 level switch in the control system. And moreover, the next biggest advantage is its cost. It is very cost effective. And since it is both cost effective and plug and play, it is simple to use in the control system. So in this video, you would have got a detailed understanding regarding the uh, L2 network switch. So I hope this video would have gained more knowledge to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share to instrumentation community. And if you want to watch such instrumentation video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Thank you.